Hey, a third of it all. Today, four of Lord Diversity Week on Monsters of Rock, the Lordy story. And on today's show, we are talking to the beast from the lagoon, Lordy's bassist, Heesey. Last week, you would have heard part of his first ever interview on the collection episode of Monsters of Rock. And today, you'll get to hear his side of Lord Diversity. And also, just to remind you, make sure to head over to True Metal Pod on Instagram as you can have a chance at winning one of two sets of Heesey's bass strings, which he used to record the songs on Lord Adversity with. And a huge, huge, huge thanks to him for offering you all that opportunity. Anywho, here is Heesey and I talking about Lord Adversity. What what has the last year without gigs been like for you, in Lordy? Oh, that was uh, that was uh, good and bad because because I I, I was quite busy still mm. uh, because of this record massive record recording uh, project only uh, possible. Mm. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. To do yeah to with, with this break. Mm. If, if, if we don't have that break, I think those records will not come. Yeah, because uh, you see, but, you need so uh, much time to focus yeah, on them, yeah. and yeah, exactly, yeah, true, yeah. True. And like but, when you were told, oh, fuck. when you were told about the idea of this album of Lord Diversity and doing seven albums, all different genres. When did you first hear about that, and what was your first reaction? Oh, I. Uh, don't really remember exact day, but mm. something like a year ago for this. Right. I think. I think. Okay. But yeah, first I thought, uh, "Whoa, what, 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 what?" <laughs> <laughs> I knew that Mister Mister Lordy is crazy, but I didn't know that he's that's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, 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 and and then then first I was a little worried about uh, quality of that many songs and that all that stuff yeah but but uh, it was useless they are all very good songs and i i stand stand by them behind behind all yeah. all, all all songs yeah yeah and obviously with recording so many songs and having to do all those albums over a year period pretty much how did the recording um part go for you like when, when did you go into the studio and like how, how how was that whole experience of recording these albums for you see oh yeah yeah it, it, it worked for, for, for me very well actually yeah. I, I like to work like that yeah uh, first two albums we did uh, different studios in Tampere and it's uh, the 70s uh, record mm. and then uh, the disco record in Helsinki and 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 and, and. I, I like it, like it a lot. And then then five, I yeah. did at Nolle Studio. Oh, right. Okay. Yeah, nice. yeah. With Nolle and 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 usually we record three hour sessions. Yeah. And which means uh, three or four songs per session. Right. And uh, after that. That I go home and started practicing another three or four songs, and that's going on and on and on and on. Right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So was there was it there much a... of a break then between the albums? Like, did you get any time off between like, or was it constantly? Were you always recording songs? No, no. Actually, maybe maybe there was a two week break between. You know, okay. the break, break. Yeah. But but uh, I think it's. Uh, so that that was the uh, rhythm of this right. recording. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And but, like, uh, that's that's why I, I was quite busy still. <laughs> <laughs> and with obviously doing so many genres, as you said, doing like disco, thrash metal, industrial metal, is there were there any types of new equipment that you had to use to record these uh, these songs? No, no, actually, no. actually, no. Right. I have. At least one bass for every era of nice. this project okay. already. Yeah, yeah, I have nice. lots of basses, <laughs> <laughs> and I just use them, them, nice, th- them, them. Uh, yeah, 
Okay. No. And like when the, and did you have to learn any new techniques for any of the songs? No, no. Oh. I know all techniques already. Right. Okay, so you're, you're very skilled. <laughs> no, no, <then>. exactly. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, no, no, no new techniques for me. Uh, right. There's a lot of peak and finger style right. playing. Yeah, because that's yeah. actually yeah. Because obviously, with you, when you joined Lordy, you didn't use a pick yeah. or a plectrum at all. You were just using your hand all the time. So did you get, actually? Yeah, that's true. Did you get to use your hand playing the bass on the recording side, or was it? Did you have to use the plectrum? No, uh, actually, it, it's it's uh, it, the plectrum thing. It's uh, it's getting so natural nowadays. Right. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Uh, only, only, only this record is is full, you know, finger style yeah. record. Yeah, yeah. There is no any any oh, peak. Nice. Okay. At least <laughs> you got the, at least you record. got to use it as well again. Then. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And did you get yeah, to use uh, Gene Simmons' bass again on the recording? No, no, no. no, oh, no, no I, I, I don't have a chance, chance, to, chance to do it, and and and. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, yeah. And obviously, when with all the bass sounds and everything that go on these albums, um, man, like with the bass sounds, do you need to like use any different types of styles, or is there anything that you need to do to get a different sound for a different era? Like, is there anything like, say, for example, like between the Abracadabra, which is obviously the thrash metal, and then Super Fly Trap, which is disco? Is there anything that's different between the sound for the bass for those different albums yeah yeah of course uh we use different references to make it sound like it would be at that era right okay so then uh, then we build and choose the sound uh the studio uh recording and engineering we we build it together that sound right okay. and we still already have uh, have a strong image how would it be Right, and and I have to, and then I pick right right bass. There's a lot between of those albums. Yeah. First of all, totally different bass and techniques. This combo with fingers and thrash metal with pick. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, and then with yeah. with that thrash metal okay. album, obviously back if we look back at the thrash metal time when mm. Metallica were playing and all that and. Obviously, Cliff Burton was such a well, well known and well renowned bass player. Uh, yeah. Did you get to do a lot of bass solos on the Thrash albums or any of the other albums? Then. No, actually, there, there, there might be one bass solo. Right. Okay. So, yeah, yeah, but. But but I don't remember that record. Maybe some eighties <laughs> eighties records so, right. somewhere there. Okay. Because yeah, but but uh, not nothing like uh, Cliff Burton yeah. stuff. Yeah. Okay. Uh, right. Uh, and w yeah. obviously, with you being uh, involved now with Lodi, this is well, you've kind of done eight albums. Now you haven't really done two. Um, <laughs> have you contributed any riffs or rhythms to the albums or to any of the songs? Actually, yeah. Right, There's okay. a few riffs of mine. Yeah. And uh, most of my riffs are on albums 1991 and 95. Okay, right. So that album. Let me see <laughs> yeah, the name. I have to look up the names. <laughs> I was on so hard to Yeah, it's so, Abracadabra and... Uh, oh, okay, so... Abracadabra and spooky sex extravaganza spectacular. Isn't it? Oh, okay, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's awesome, yeah. yeah. Very cool. Do you have any favorite memories then from the recording process? I think it's whole project. The whole thing. Uh, to totally unique. Yeah. You know, it's it's for 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 musicians. These kind of projects projects are insane. Yeah. <laughs> and it's 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 so cool to be a part of it. Mm. Yeah, we make we make history. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like we did history, yeah. or, or how can I say? And uh, did you ever yeah. think, uh, you know, when you joined Lordy, did you ever yeah. think that you would be doing something this crazy? <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> I, I, I thought it, it it was going to uh, first record, then tour, and next uh, year, and the record and tour, mm. record and tour. Yeah, I think. 
I thought it was like that, but <laughs> no, <Yeah>. it wasn't. <laughs> it was a, a record, half of tour, and then seven records. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <yeah. laughs> Maybe tour. <laughs> Yeah. And with you, you've only had, I'd say, I don't even think you've had about 30 concerts now where you've been, he see. Um, but has it been difficult for you to kind of get to know the fans in a way because you've been at so few uh, concerts? Yeah, but actually I, I know the, the Instagram and yeah, actually he's, he's on Instagram only. Yeah. And there's a, they, they sent message to me and and I, I really liked it yeah. because I, I like to I like to speak yeah <laughs> even even I, I can but <laughs> but I, I I can put some reaction or yeah, you know exactly and engage and, with and them in some way yeah yeah yeah, yeah. and not like and and some, some, I know a lot of fan a lot of fans really appreciate what you do on Instagram because um you seem to be one of the more engaged members of the band um when it comes to that yeah. like you all you always seem to always respond to people on it and share their stuff yeah, as well yeah. so like i think fa- fans really appreciate that as well um cool from what you do cool to hear. yeah um and obviously with these two different re- kind of styles because you've gone from doing collection to obviously doing low diversity uh, what mm-hmm. how would you compare the two um recording sides of that for you no it, it was quite same only the scale was bigger nice in okay. the last time yeah 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 nice. it's uh, I, I, yeah no, i think it's uh it's 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 same nice and was there much traveling involved then because obviously in collection you had you almost had like a different studio for nearly every song um and you were saying that you did nale's one and then you used nale's studio and then you were also recording in tampere um yeah. Did, was were they the only two places that you did recording? I think there's a three three places there. Okay, uh, that that Helsinki Helsinki studio yeah. and uh, Tampere studio and Nalle's place. Right. But, uh, okay. Thank God Nalle is, is from Tampere too. Right. Oh, okay. Right. <laughs> and, right. Uh, yeah. 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 And, and a few cool. kilometers from from my house. Right. So it's easy enough then <laughs> to get there. Yeah. It's it's yeah. very easy. Yeah. And um, when you have you heard many of the songs back now? Have you managed to sit down and listen to them all yet? Yeah, yeah, yeah of course, of course. And do you have any favorites? Yeah. No, oh, uh, oh, 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 love them all, of yeah. course. <laughs> but if, if if I need to pick, yeah, uh, one it would be, it it would be a disco disco yeah. album, nice. I think. Okay. At 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 the moment, right? But you know. There's so many records that you can change, change your mind yeah. every day. Yeah, very true. <laughs> if, if 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 you and actually if if you listening one record a few times, it's getting better and better and better, and mm. then it it, it, it take it's, it's take time yeah. <laughs> so much <laughs> to listen all of them. And yeah, if, if you yeah. if you listen just uh, once. Uh, it's it's uh, uh, was it uh, five and a half hour of music, new music. Oh, geez. It's it's, it's, okay. it's quite hard to handle. Yeah, <laughs> for oh, every 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 fan or <laughs> musician and yeah. or everybody. Oh my god, so, I never so, I never thought of yeah. that. Yeah, Jesus, five and a half hours of work music. So oh. to the fans, I, I would like to say, take it easy. Yeah, <laughs> take it easy, and uh, and and. Um, be patient yeah Jesus that's a lot of music yeah because like, yeah, very few people are going to sit down and listen to it all at once I would <laughs> yeah. say like, yeah. yeah but if, if you sit you take your some something snacks or snacks yeah. <laughs> drink and yeah. food yeah. And, it's, lo- it's longer than Lord of the Rings so yeah. <laughs> oh my god yeah, yeah. <laughs> true but uh, true. yeah my god that's, that's insane Jesus um, yeah. And like, what's actually very interesting about what you're saying about your favorite album being the disco album? Literally, yeah. every it's so other person. It's authentic. Yeah, and like, it literally, Tracy, Ralph, and Yanni—they all said that's their favorite record as well. Of this, 
super, okay, super fly okay. track. Yeah, every, all of them have said that it's their favorite too. So there seems to be a trend here. There must have been something in the air the days those yeah, songs yeah, were recorded. It's, it's, it's so it's, it's so all, uh, authentic and uh, you, saw, you know and and uh, or, or, organ or how organic, can I say yeah. you know it's it's, yeah. it's really good and, and the songs. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> Mr. Lordy, no knows how to do disco songs. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, That's crazy. Like, yeah, really, yeah, really do. Fans will probably because obviously, as we were saying, like in a couple of days, that believe me track is going to go out, and it comes with I think yeah. two or three other songs off the disco album as well, included mm. on that single. So it's, we're only a few days away from fans hearing that, um, and. I think what Lord Diversity it's meant to be released in November at some point from what Miss Lordy was telling me. So yeah, yeah. Um, what do you think the fans' reaction to all of them, all this whole idea, will be? Oh, I really hope that they will love these albums or at least few of them. Yeah, <laughs> you know, you know, <laughs> you don't have to have to like like every album, but but I think. Be patient, like I said, and take it easy. And mm. album at the at the album. Yeah. You know, one album at the, at, at the time. time. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, and then then it's easier to handle. Mm. I think. Yeah. And first, first, if you, if you're a really trash metal fan, do that record first, and then, you know. Yeah. Then then others. Yeah. Exactly. But yeah. <laughs> and it, it's. I think it's going to be very interesting for you guys because even I know from myself, uh, my wife doesn't like a lot of heavy metal. Um, so she's more, oh, yeah. she's more interested in like pop music and ABBA okay. and that kind of thing. So when it goes okay. to like when I put on the disco, when I put on Super Fly Trap, she might like no, that it's... more than me, but it's still Lordy. And I'll put on the thrash metal or the industrial metal album, and I love that because they're the. That's usually the type of music I listen to all the time as well. As of course, Lordy okay. as well. So, also, of course, of course. But it's, yeah, and it's it's going to be a cool mix because I think you guys will have something for everyone in the yeah, record. Yeah, and, and I, I think uh, um, the you, you know the metalheads yeah. are so so in own habits and this yeah, metal yeah, music exactly, yeah. and I, I i really hope that uh they uh, this this record uh album albums uh, open the old fans mind uh, eyes yeah. Yeah. and mind yeah. yeah you know the other music exactly yeah Cause yeah, because yeah, you can really I, 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 lead someone down a different track. Like, because if you only listen to heavy metal all the time and you yeah, and you yeah, love Lordy, yeah. but then you open your eyes and and your ears and yeah, hear yeah. something different, it might make you interested in that type of music. So yeah, that's very yeah. cool. Yeah. I never thought. I think that's yeah. uh, that's uh, if, if it works like that. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, it's 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 really really good. Yeah. Jeez, I never thought of that, and it, it's it, it'll be a cool idea because if you have very young fans as well, because I know Lord, Lordy's yeah. fan base is stretched far and wide. Like you've got people that listen to Lordy that are in their teens, and then people that are in their fifties and sixties yeah. that li- listen to Lordy and everything in between. So if you have yeah. young fans listening to Lordy albums like this, you really are yeah. opening their eyes to a whole different style of music and that's such a cool thing to do as a band yeah yeah, yeah it really is. I, I think so I yeah. think so that's amazing like it's, mm. yeah 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 it's such a cool thing like yeah. I said Mr. Laurie's <laughs> if that's great <laughs> it's that great yeah I think all geni- all, ge- all geniuses are kind of crazy anyway so, so <laughs> yeah yeah it's, it's near yeah uh, the genius are crazy or yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So there you have it. That was Heasy talking about his experience of Lord Diversity. A big kitos to him as well. And don't forget to head over to True Metal Pod on Instagram to have a chance at winning one of two sets of Heasy's bass strings used on the recent albums. Anywho, join me tomorrow then as the Scarby Hella talks to me about Lord Diversity. Slan lat. And I'll chat to you then. Monsters of Rock, The Lordy Story, is a True Metal Podcast production. 
The show was presented, produced, and written by Matthew Kessie. Head to True Metal Pod's social channels to keep up to date with the production.